The past week in the NHL has been insane. We've seen multiple blockbuster trades, a bunch of other significant moves, even the Buffalo Sabres themselves moved on from Sam Reinhardt and Rasmus Ristolainen in the span of a couple of days. However, we have still yet to see the biggest domino fall, and that of course is Jack Eichel. I wanted to make this video because I've been seeing more and more people saying it just doesn't look like the Sabres are going to trade Eichel this offseason, and while that's for sure a possibility, I think it is still more likely we see an Eichel trade this offseason than not. So this video is basically just going to be me giving you guys the latest on the Jack Eichel situation, everything that we know right now, because I know there's probably a decent amount of you that are subscribed to this channel and that watch the videos on a regular basis that don't really follow the blogs posted by Hockey Insiders, you know, the Elliot Freemans of the world, or listen to podcasts from Hockey Insiders, and that's where most of the juicy information comes from. There's been some updates over the past couple of days, so we're going to go over them in this video. The main thing we're going to focus on and talk about is the blog Elliot Friedman put out for Sportsnet.ca yesterday. It had a lot of very interesting information in it. I'll link it down below in the description. I definitely recommend you go and give it a read. The blog starts out with Buffalo GM Kevin Adams raised eyebrows Saturday night when he said he would have no problem at all if Jack Eichel is on our team when we start training camp. When Kevin Adams said that, that's when I started to see a lot of people saying it doesn't look like Jack Eichel is going to get traded anymore. And it makes sense as to why people would say that and think that after Kevin Adams said what he said, but obviously Kevin Adams is going to say that. He's not going to come out and say, oh no, we have to trade Jack Eichel before training camp. We don't want that distraction for other players and, you know, we don't want that big elephant in the room type of thing. Obviously, he's not going to come out and say that because if he did, he would honestly lose a lot of his leverage when it comes to trade negotiations surrounding Jack Eichel. Like I said at the start of the video, it is definitely a possibility that the Sabres don't trade Eichel this offseason, but I wouldn't only think that just because of what Kevin Adams said. I wouldn't read all that much into it because obviously he's not going to come and say the opposite, right? So those are my thoughts on what Kevin Adams said. Let's now move along. Out of curiosity, I reached out to Jack Eichel's reps about that possibility, and this is Elliot Friedman talking here, of course, and Jack Eichel's reps said, our expectation is that Jack is going to be traded in the near future, and all of our discussions have been centered around that issue. Elliot went on to say they wouldn't comment further about Eichel's status. He's skating, but it's believed he will still need surgery, although the Sabres haven't approved his preferred choice, a disc replacement, so there still seems to be a disconnect between the Sabres and Jack Eichel when it comes to what they want to do with his injury. And that's kind of crazy to me that the Sabres and Eichel still have yet to resolve anything when it pertains to what to do with his injury because we have known this to be a thing for a while now, going back to the Buffalo Sabres exit interviews, which is when this information was made public, and I'm sure this was a thing much before the information was made public as well. I'm actually going to throw a clip up here for you guys of probably the most infamous part of that Jack Eichel interview, just in case some of you guys have yet to see it, just to give some context to this. Why don't you just do what you would like to do? It's your body. It's your decision yeah, with a doctor. Work like that, Paul. <laughs> is it the, is it cause a, a contract? Yeah, it doesn't work like that. I wish. I mean, yeah, you, you can't. Uh, I guess that's that's you hit the nail on the head there. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's it. I mean, you. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm under contract with this team, and um, they definitely hold a lot of uh, a lot of cards on what I can and can't do. It's pretty crazy, right? Like, that clip is almost hard to watch. Moving on now, though, this is the final part of the blog or the article that I wanted to talk about, and it's in regards to what teams Elliot Friedman thinks are most interested in Jack Eichel. Or I guess I won't say most interested, because I'm sure every single team in the National Hockey League is at least interested in Eichel. I guess I should say the teams that are probably most engaged right now or have been the most engaged over the past couple of weeks. So Elliot Friedman says, My guesses right now are some combination of Anaheim, Calgary, Minnesota, and others I'm probably missing. Teammate Eric. Angles reported Sunday he doesn't think it will be Montreal. From what I've heard, the Canadians have engaged, but not anywhere near a point Buffalo would say yes. The Rangers and Sabres have not been close in their conversations. So that is the last part of the blog I wanted to read to you guys. If you're interested in checking out the rest, again, link to it will be down below in the description. I definitely recommend you go and do so. There's a lot of other information in there, not just about Jack Eichel, but about free agency as well, so definitely go and check it out. Of the teams Elliot Friedman mentioned, the one that interests me the most is the New York Rangers. I was kind of surprised when he said, 
said that the Rangers and Sabres have not been close in their conversations because that's where the majority of people seem to think Eichel's going to end up and it makes sense because from the get-go they've been reportedly heavily interested in trading for Jack Eichel. They have the assets as to where they could make a nice proposal to the Buffalo Sabres. Lafreniere, Kako, Kratzoff, Braden Schneider, Nils Lundqvist. One thing I did see the other day though is apparently the New York Rangers are not willing to include Braden Schneider or Nils Lundqvist in a package for Jack Eichel which I found very very surprising. Those are both great prospects but they're not really the level of prospects as to where they should be untouchable in a Jack Eichel trade. I'm really interested to see how this plays out though. If Jack Eichel will end up getting traded, if he does, where is he going to go? What type of return could the Buffalo Sabres be looking at? Heading into the offseason, I was of the mindset that if Eichel isn't traded, this offseason is going to be a bust. I really don't feel that way anymore. Like, I would be completely okay if we don't see an Eichel trade this offseason as much as I want it to happen. And just because of all the crazy stuff that has already happened up until this point, if the offseason ended today and NHL season started tomorrow, this offseason would already be the most memorable in my opinion in recent memory. So the fact that we could even see an Eichel trade, you know, in the next couple of weeks is just insane. On top of everything that we've already got, it would really just be the cherry on top. That is going to do it though for this quick little video giving you guys the latest on Jack Eichel. Again, like I said at the start, I figured this would be a good video to make because I have been seeing a lot of comments about people wondering what's going on with Eichel. And again, like I said multiple times throughout the video, link to Elliot Freeman's blog will be down below in the description. I really don't want this to come off like I'm ripping him off or something or trying to take credit for what he reported. Obviously, I'm not trying to do that. I just know that not everybody reads stuff like that, especially casual hockey fans, so I wanted to get this out to as many people as possible. I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to think, especially if you're a fan of one of the teams that are mentioned in the blog. What would you be comfortable with your team giving up in exchange for Jack Eichel? If you're a Rangers fan, do you really believe that guys like Brayden Schneider and Nils Lundqvist should be off the board? Again, like I said, they're great prospects, but untouchable in an Eichel trade, I kind of think that's a little bit much. 